Can't have that much caffeine, you want me to die? Should I show them what I'm drinking? Sure. Do they want to know? Yeah. Is this your favorite flavor? No. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm Mia. And I'm Jeffrey. This is our bar. Where should I start? Should we start on the side? Should we start? In the sure, mid? let's start on the side. All right, starting down here, working our way up. We got our juices. We got some ginger ale. All these stuffs are mixers. Actually, um, these are just energy drinks that we um have stocked. We just keep all the extra juice and uh, cans down uh, there. Up top, this is, I guess, mostly my special shelf. In here, we got one of my favorite rums. I'm a rum guy. This is. Deadhead dark chocolate rum. If you are a big fan of tiki drinks, I highly recommend you use this as your dark rum compared to other dark rums like Myers rum. Oh, Myers rum is delicious. I think we have a bottle of it up there. This one used to be Deadhead. It was actually one of their older uh, bottles. This does not hold Deadhead dark chocolate rum in it. It has it has Plantation Peru. Oh. which is another type of rum that's very good. It's just my decanter I use now for my special rums. We got some <laughs> here. For those of you who think I'm speaking gibberish, you just gotta look up the <laughs> commercials. Uh, I put this little ghost guy here. We uh, decorated for Halloween. We just put ghosts and stuff all over the place, and this guy's just a little remnants of that. He's gonna stay. Cointreau's pretty tasty, and... I don't know, any beverage really. It's like an orange liqueur. Are we gonna go over every No, liqueur? I was just gonna say in the rest back there, we got some amaretto, a Polish wine, and then moving on to the top now. Yeah. Do you wanna take over? You want me to hold the camera? Uh -oh. Sure. Excuse me. <laughs> so on top we got the schnapps, we got the flavor brandies, blue curacao, all the crazy grenadine bits, just the sweetener mixers and stuff. Okay, so on the top shelf, we got our accessories. We got some wine charms, some, what are these called? Wine stoppers. See, this is what happens when you talk too fast. You can't think Wine at the oh, same rate. Oh, we didn't turn our pineapple on. Oh, Pineapple he's theme dead. is very apparent. And then this one is my favorite wine stopper. He's a wiener dog. So moving down to the goods. Up in front here, we got all of our bitters, our flower syrups, our weird flavors, smoked chili bitters, all stuff like that. Shaker, jigger. And then up front, we got Jeffrey's favorites, plantation. Pineapple rum is the best one, right? Mm -hmm. And then moving back, we got three bottles of Malibu, because Malibu is also the best, especially the strawberry one. It tastes like real strawberries. Moving back, we got more rums, like Myers rum, Jeffrey said earlier, this one's really good for tiki drinks. Oh, I'm clanking too much. We got some whiskeys. We don't really drink whiskey, though. Right now, we're really into this Grey Goose Essences. This is a strawberry lemongrass. It's so good. This is our new favorite drink. They also have two other flavors that I really want to try. In the back, we got some tequila. We got Costco tequila. It's not very good. We don't drink tequila that often, so it's okay. And then we got some gin, slow gin. I only bought this bottle because it's so beautiful. Is it even good? It's good. Hendrix Lunar. Is this the newest one? Mm -hmm. I just like the bottle. We're constantly buying new flavors of things and trying different stuff. So these aren't all of our favorites. That's what we got right now. And moving down to the wines, I got this cute wine holder thing from Williams Sonoma and these cute lights, if you can see them, I taped them underneath this thing from Target. I didn't pick out any of these wines actually, they were all gifts, <laughs> so none of them are like my favorites or anything, except this one, Choco Vine. It's very, very cho more chocolatey than wine, but it's delicious. My favorite wine at the moment is a box wine. Yes, it's a box wine from Trader Joe's. It's Sauvignon Blanc and it's the best. You need to try it. Also over here, we have two bar books. This one is the best. I don't think we've even made a drink from this that I didn't like. Want to make a drink? For yeah, so let's make our favorite drink. You'll make a drink and I'll make a drink. Okay. Should we go to the drink making station? Yeah. I'm going to make a heat wave. It's one of my favorite drinks to make. It's very simple. Now we're going to need grenadine. Peach schnapps, dark rum, 
pineapple juice. I guess we're gonna have to open it, huh? You want me to do it? No. I'm too committed. I got that open. Put it in this because it'll make it easier to pour. Preferably, I like to drink a heat wave in a glass like this. Need our... What do you call that even? Shaker. Shaker. You're gonna need your shaker, your jigger. Your heat wave goes as follows. Oh wait, gotta get ice. First things first, you're gonna need an ounce of dark rum. Half ounce peach schnapps. Maybe even a little less, just cause like the peach schnapps could be pretty overpowering if you use too much of it. Do about four to six ounces of pineapple juice. And then you're gonna shake it. Shake until the glass is cold. Pour it in there. I just realized that uh, this drink is so simple that actually <laughs> you don't need the shaker at all. You're supposed to stir, but we're shaking things up today. To top it off, you do a dash of grenadine. And that is a heat wave. Those of you who really like island drinks, uh, vacation drinks, the heat wave is for you. It's very fruity, but it also has a nice little punch of bitterness to it. You get that from the dark rum. The dark rum makes it taste a little more boozy. And uh, yeah, it's delicious. I could drink like 10 of these. They're so tasty. All right, we're gonna do your drink then? Mm-hmm. Perfect. So for my drink, I'm gonna need some lemonade and some vodka. You know what we're making? Vodka lemonade. I never even, <laughs> I never even mentioned it, so I don't know why. I'm actually not gonna. Just do a generous pour. <sighs> so one generous pour of vodka. I thought you were gonna count. Is that what people do? Well, whatever. Can't get that cap back on. Dull strawberry lemonade. Delicious. Or you can make your own lemonade. Do whatever you want, you know? What's this called? I almost said pineapple lemonade. What's it called? It's a vodka lemonade. Vodka lemonade. <laughs> You'd think I'd already had one by now. A vodka lemonade. Pink. Stra pink. <laughs> Strawberry. <laughs> vodka lemonade. Yum. You can use any type of vodka, any flavor, any type of lemonade, any flavor, and it's always going to turn out good and simple. And it's cute. So yeah, that's our bar and our current favorite drinks. If you like this video, give it a, a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> so now what are we doing? Just finish this? That's good stuff. That one tastes like summer. Oh, is that what we're doing? You should slow down. <laughs> That's all. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.